What if the key to boundless energy, a faster metabolism, and lasting health isn't cutting carbs, but embracing them? Dr. Ray Pete's groundbreaking research flips the script on conventional nutrition, revealing why glucose, not fat, is your body's ultimate fuel. Discover how optimizing glucose oxidation can transform your energy, hormones, and even your thyroid health. So today we're going to dive into Dr. Ray Pete's views on glucose oxidation and long-term health. If you're loving these videos, hit the like button and share this to someone who you care about their health. So for those who don't know Dr. Ray Pete, I've talked about him the last few episodes. He's a biologist, a researcher, and known for his unconventional insights into health, placing a significant emphasis on glucose oxidation as a central pillar of metabolic health. Here's a concise summary of his key perspectives regarding this. Number one, glucose is the preferred energy source of our body. Dr. Pete underscores the importance of prioritizing glucose over fat as the body's primary energy source. He believes the body is optimized to use glucose for energy production due to its efficiency and minimal stress on the system compared to fat oxidation. Efficient glucose oxidation is crucial for metabolic health. According to Dr. Ray Pete, the ability to efficiently oxidize glucose Converting glucose into energy within the cells is a marker of a well-functioning metabolism. When this process is disrupted, the body may compensate by relying on fat oxidation, which can result in increased stress and inefficient energy production. Number three, poor glucose oxidation and its health consequences. Dr. Pete associated impaired glucose oxidation with a range of health issues, including metabolic syndrome, diabetes, hormonal imbalances, and chronic fatigue. He argues that supporting a proper glucose metabolism can correct or alleviate many of these problems. Now, what are some of the diet and lifestyle activities we can do to help enhance glucose metabolism? Well, for one, if you're wondering how well you are in, in tolerating glucose, you can do what's called an oral glucose tolerance test, which measures how your body handles glucose by tracking your blood sugar levels. You can easily dis discuss this with your health professional and just ask them for a glucose tolerance test. So one of the things, and I've talked about this before, Dr. Pete advocates for a diet that emphasizes foods that promote optimal glucose metabolism. These are things such as easily digestible carbohydrates, such as fruits, honey, and root vegetables, voiding polyunsaturated fatty acids, which he believes impairs mitochondrial energy production. He also recommends mitigating physical and emotional stress as stress hormones like cortisol can inhibit efficient glucose oxidation. Number five, thyroid's function in glucose oxidation. Thyroid health is a reoccurring theme in Dr. Pete's work. He highlights the thyroid gland, pivotal role in regulating metabolism and ensuring effective glucose oxidation. Impaired thyroid function can lead to a sluggish metabolism and reduced glucose efficiently, further reinforcing the need to support thyroid health through proper diet, rest, and stress reduction. One specific way in which thyroid function impacts glucose utilization is through its influence of the body's production of carbon dioxide. In his research, Dr. Ray Pete has found that CO2 plays a crucial role in promoting efficient glucose oxidation. Low levels of this gas can lead to reduced cellular respiration and energy production, ultimately impairing glucose metabolism. Furthermore, thyroid hormones are essential for proper functioning of enzymes, including glycolysis and the Krebs cycle, two key processes that are involved in glucose oxidation. These hormones regulate the expression activity of transporters responsible for moving glucose into cells for energy production. Given these critical roles of thyroid hormones in glucose oxidation, it is clear that optimizing thyroid function is vital for maintaining healthy glucose metabolism and overall energy production in the body. Markers to check for a healthy thyroid are TSH, free T3, and free T4 levels in the blood. Thyroid disorders such as hypo and hyperthyroidism can have a significant impact on glucose metabolism. In hypothyroidism, there's a decrease in thyroid hormones, which can lead to a decrease in glucose oxidation and energy production. And this can result in symptoms such as fatigue, weight gain, and difficulty regulating blood sugar levels. Therefore, it is essential to monitor proper thyroid function in order to support your glucose metabolism and prevent development of metabolic disorders. Now, some key takeaways, glucose is the most efficient and preferred energy source for the body, critical for optimal health. Supporting glucose oxidation through mindful dietary choices and reducing stress can improve metabolic health. Maintaining a healthy thyroid is essential for efficient glucose metabolism. And Dr. Pete's approach, challenges conventional dietary norms and offers a different perspective on the intricate relationship between metabolism, 
diet, and overall health. Like mentioned before, one of the things you might want to do is a, a glucose tolerance test along with making sure that you get your thyroid levels checked. For health enthusiasts, researchers, and followers of his work, following on the principles of glucose oxidation offers practical steps towards a better metabolic function and better health. If you're loving these videos, feel free to hit the like button and comment below. I look forward to talking with you a little bit later in the week with another great interview. And thanks so much for listening. Have a great day.